so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where we're at! Yeah! Today we're at Garish Swim Club in Pasadena, California! Wow, I love this place! Yeah, it's a place where you can go swimming! Do you like to swim? Swimming is so much fun! <laughs> Whoa! What's this? Check it out! Wonder what's inside! Whoa! Whoa! A heart! Ah! <sighs> I wonder what it says! Oh! Dear best friend, it's Valentine's Day! So come on, let's celebrate, dance, and play! Being your best friend is really cool! Come check out the surprise on the other side of the pool! Wow! That is awesome! I wonder what the surprise is! <laughs> let's go! Whoa, look! Pretty hearts! Wow, there's so many of them! Wow! There's all these hearts here, probably because it's Valentine's Day! Whoa! Okay, let's go find the surprise! More hearts! Wow, check it out! Whoa! Hello, heart! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, and look at this one! Whoa! It's a heart made out of hearts! Whoa! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> huh. I wonder where the surprise is! Oh, look at this! Whoa, it's like I'm a lifeguard! Hello! Woo! <laughs> Do you see who it is? Yeah, it's Mika! Let's go say hi! Hi, Mika! Hey, Blippi, good to see you! Good to see you! What are you doing? Oh, I'm just relaxing! Oh, that is so nice sounding! <laughs> Wait a second! Was it you that left all those hearts there for me? Yes, it was! Oh. Because you are my best friend and today is Valentine's Day! Oh. <laughs> well, you are my best friend and I love Valentine's Day! Me too! It's a great day to recognize and celebrate those that you love and really care about! Oh, well, I love being your best friend and I love that you are my best friend! Yeah, me too! And I love hanging out with you! Aw, oh, thanks, Mika! Hey, let's play a game right now! Really? What game? Let's play Heart and Seek! Heart and Seek? Mm -hmm. Kinda sounds like Hide and Seek! That's right! So we have to find hearts all around, like these glasses right here! Whoa! So <laughs> fabulous! Oh, thank you, thank you! <laughs> Alright, let's go! Alright, come on! Yeah, a little game of heart and seek. Whoa! This one was pretty easy to find. Because <laughs> it's such a big heart. Wow, I love Valentine's Day. And I bet you can guess if this is going to sink or float. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. What else can we find here? Oh, check it out. Whoa! Wow, another heart. Yeah. Whoa, it's really heavy. But there is some air inside. I'm so excited to see if it's gonna sink or float. <laughs> <laughs> this is not in the shape of a heart. But that's okay. Yeah, looks like a steering wheel. Wee, wee, wee. Whoa! Maybe it's a steering wheel for a tractor. Whoa! Or a sports car? Whoa! All right, let's see if this will sink or float. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this! Look at all the items on the table. Maybe we can throw these in the pool and see if they'll sink or float. Okay, it looks like a mug. That's yeah, pretty heavy, but there is some air inside. Ooh! Looks like some princess wands. Wow! Whoa! Okay, let me put those right in there. <laughs> Whoa! And a jump rope! Whoa! It's pretty light! Huh, but it might also sink. I don't know! I'm so excited to find out! 
Oh, but look at this! Wow! A cute unicorn backpack! Wow! Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's gonna be fun to see if they'll sink or float. <laughs> Whoa, cool! A playground! Whoa! Wait a second. Do you see something right there? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Look at what we found! Wow! A cute teddy bear! And look at what it says! I love you! Wow! Yeah! On the lifeguard stand, we have some more things. We have... Whoa! Some blue and orange rings! Hmm! Oh! Also looks like... We have a water bottle. Whoa! And we have some water toys. Oh. All right. Okay, let's go see if these will sink or float. <laughs> oh, yes, I am so excited to find heart-shaped things for heart and sink. Ooh, I see a really big heart right here. Check it out. I bet you can guess if this is going to sink or float. This is a heart-shaped float. Ooh, so relaxing. Let's keep looking. Mm. Oh, look how cute. A teddy bear. But a teddy bear is not shaped like a heart. Hmm. Look, do you see? There are two adorable hearts right there. Oh, so cute. All right, come on. This, this. What else can we find? Oh, my goodness, it's a microphone. And what? Hey, here are some hearts. This looks like a really cute headband. Ooh, what do you think? Hello, hello, hello. Happy Valentine's Day. Follow me, we'll find some fun things for sink or float or with my best friend, Blippi. Hey! There's more things over here, come look. Ooh, do you see any hearts on this? I see one, two hearts, and hmm, it's inside. Okay, I don't 
Oh, there is something else up here. Oh, look at these rings. Not heart shaped, they are circles. Okay, we have a lot of fun things. I can't wait to find Flippy and play our next game. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, Mika, you got so many items! Yeah, so did you, Flippy. Look at all that! I know! Hey, let's set this down. Okay. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh. And it looks like we got some of the same things. Yeah. Like our big floaty heart. Yeah. Whoa, that yeah. was such a fun game it of really heart was. and seek. Yep. Whoa. But hey, since some of these are really heavy and yeah. some are light and some are big and small, yeah. I was actually thinking we could play a game. I was thinking the same thing. Really? What game? I was thinking we could play Sink or Float. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so many items. Do you yeah. want to start or me? Um, you go ahead. Okay, all right. I'm gonna start with the big heart. Do you want to oh, throw yours in at yeah, the same let's time? Do it. All right, Ready? here we go. Sink or float. Whoa! Oh. Yeah. Oh, they're floating. <laughs> yeah, we knew that one was yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, check this out. Ooh. I found a orange and blue ring. Flippy, I have rings too. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Shall we throw them in at the same time? Yeah, ready? All right. Three, Three two, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look, they're going down. Oh, yeah. They're sinking. They're sinking. Oh, those must be dive rings. You're right. Yeah, so cool. You can throw them in the pool, hold your breath, dive down, and grab them. Yeah, what a fun Game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you found a steering wheel. I know, it's so cool. Just grabbing hold of it and acting like I'm racing the car. Yeah. Re -re -re -re. You want to try? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Oh, careful, Mika. <laughs> whoa. All right. Can I throw it in? Yeah, go for it. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, cool. It sinks. Yeah. <laughs> That was so much fun throwing some of these items in to see if they sink or float. Hey, I wonder if we can find another place to play sink or float because we have more items. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Let's grab them and go. Let's do it. <laughs> Looks like a perfect place to finish sink or float. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Let's see what we have right. here. Woohoo! All right, remember this heart from earlier? Yeah. Yeah. You want to see what's inside? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, a rock. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you'll know what will happen with this. <laughs> It'll probably sink. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yep. All right. What about this box? Here we go. Oh, whoa! It it's, floats! Yeah! It's really light wood. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Hey, what about this friend? Wow! Yeah! Okay. This is soft, <laughs> cuddly bear. Ready to go for a swim? Yeah! Okay! okay. Woo! Woohoo! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> he loves swimming. <laughs> All right. Oh! Aww. And look! The snuggly bear I found. Oh, it's so cute! I love you. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Do you want to throw the backpack that I found in? Sure, I love this backpack. It's so shiny. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Woohoo! Wow. It floats. That one floats too. <laughs> wow, so many of these things are floating right now. Oh, let's see. Hey, you found two balls? Yeah. Oh, and I found one ball. Wow. Whoa. 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 <laughs> All right, here. Let's just throw these two in. Okay. <laughs> Here we go! Whoa! They float too! Wow! Oh, here it is. Can we find anything that stinks? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we should do rapid fire. Oh, let's do it! All right. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Float! Float! Whoa! Sink! <laughs> oh, my brush. Woo! 
Ooh. Ooh. Some of the wands you found. Yeah, and some of the wands that you found. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, what a pretty necklace! Wow, a heart? Whoa, did you look inside? I did, and I'm there's nothing. Oh, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sinks. And this really fun jump rope. <laughs> Whoa. And last but not least, here we go. Oh, and Flippy, I forgot. My very special heart Valentine headband. Oh, yeah! Did we see if it sinks or floats? I would love that. All right. Whoa! It floats. Yeah! <laughs> that was so much fun playing heart and seek with you, Mika. Yeah, and playing seek or float. <laughs> yeah, I love sink or float. And it was such a fun Valentine's Day with you. Yeah, I had so much fun with you, Flippy. Oh, thanks. I'm so curious if I sink or float. Oh, that is a great idea. Well, good thing you're a really good swimmer. Yeah, and there's a lifeguard. Oh. Hello. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. It's good, have fun. Oh, I can't wait. Go, Flippy. swimming and I love Valentine's Day. Me too. I had so much fun playing with you. You're my best friend, Blippi. Oh, <laughs> Mika, you're my best friend. Aww. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yeah. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B L I P P I. Flippy, good job. And if you want to see videos with me in them, you can search for my name too. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. Yeah. It's M E E K A H. -A -H. Mika. Yeah. All right. Happy Valentine's Day. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hey, everyone. It's me, Flippy. And I'm with my best friend, Mika. Hi everyone, we're at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. Yeah, and it's actually nighttime and this place is closed. Wow, so we got special permission to be here at night. Yeah, that gives me a great idea. What? Let's have Night at the Aquarium. Yeah, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Bobby, Mika, have fun. See ya. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! What is that? Check it out! It looks like a spider crab. Yeah, it looks like a giant red spider, but it's a crab. Yeah! And check it out, Mika. Looks like it has some claws. Yeah, oh. pictures. <laughs> it also looks like it's looking right at you, Blippi. Whoa! <laughs> Hello! Hi! Hey, my name's Blippi. Hey, What's your Mika. name? <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe it doesn't have a name. <laughs> have you ever seen a crab walk on the ocean floor? Yeah, they walk sideways. Yeah. Will you act like crabs with us? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Woo. I like being a crab. Ooh, me too. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Check it out. So pretty. Yeah, do you know what they are? Yeah! And look, they're the shape of a star! Yeah! That makes sense. <laughs> Shall we count how many points it has? Yeah, let's do it! One, two, two three, three, four, five! Three. Wow! Looks like they're just stuck to the rock like this! Yeah. <laughs> they seem 
to really like it. They're all hugging this rock. I like acting like a sea star. <laughs> just like it, Lizzie. <laughs> That's silly. Well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look at this big tank. Wow, you're right. So much water in here. Whoa. Whoa, check it out, Mika. Fish. Wow, they're all swimming together. Yeah. Here they go. These are yellow tails. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. If you look really close, you see that their tails are yellow. Yeah. Whoa, there's so many of them. Wow, I think they like us. They yeah. keep coming over. <laughs> Do you know what a big group of fish is called? Yeah, a, a school. school. Cool. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Mika, look it? way over here. Come on. Do you see what it is? <gasps> oh my goodness. A really cute sea otter. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> wow. Sea otters are so cool. Whoa. Whoa. They're in the water. Hey. Thank you water and be on land. Yeah! And their fur is really, really dense. Yeah! Oh, look! They're snuggly. Oh, they're so cute! Hey! I wonder if they're best friends. Like us! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Their hair is so dense. Actually, it's fur. Yeah. yeah! There's about a million pieces of hair in about that big of size. That's Super duper furry. Yeah, <laughs> that's equal to about all the hair on an average sized dog. Wow, that's a lot of fur. Yeah, whoa. They like to dive down and find their food, things like shellfish, crab. Clams, yeah. sea urchins. Yep, and they'll bring it up out of the water onto a rock and hang out and eat their food. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> and did you see how their front hands Kind of look like hands, but their back feet, yeah, they're actually kind of flippers. Yeah. <laughs> so then they swim with their back flipper feet. Yep, <laughs> it's like flippers in the back and paws in the front. Yeah, check them out. Whoa, there it goes. Whoa, wow. check it out. They're so tiny. Yeah, teeny tiny jellyfish. Wow, look at them go. They're just swimming like this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, I've never seen them this small before. I know, they're so small. <laughs> oh, and look over here, Mika. Whoa. Oh, these are a little bit bigger. Yeah, we can call these medium-sized jellyfish. <laughs> That's right. Wow, look at their long tentacles. Whoa. Oh, hello. Hi. How's your day going? <laughs> Whoa, Mika, look! Wow! Big jellyfish! Yeah! Wow! Look at that! Yeah! Jellyfish are so cool! They don't have hearts, they don't have brains, but they need to eat food to survive! Yeah! They're living creatures! That's right! Wow! That is so cool. And if you ever see a jellyfish, you want to make sure not to touch it because they sting. Yeah. Wow. Oh, hello. <laughs> and do you see the brown tentacles? Looks like hair. Yeah. That hair tentacle looking type of things, that's what actually stings you if you touch it. Good thing this is glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, see you later, jellyfish. Wow. <laughs> Pretty. So we saw small jellyfish, mm -hmm. Medium-sized jellyfish. And big jellyfish. Yeah. Oh, look over here. Oh, come on. Whoa. Wow. Whoa, look at that. Hey. Hello. I'm Blippi. I'm Mika. <laughs> and this is a puffin. Wow. Hi, buddy. Look at him just floating on top of the water. Yeah. Oh, see you later. <laughs> because they can dive down into the water and catch a lot of fish. Yeah! 10 fish is pretty normal for them to catch in one dive. Yeah! yeah. And do you see those rocks up there? Yeah, that's where they live. Yep, see? All the way up top, they're just hanging out together on the rocks. Yeah, yeah if there's a cliff, 
next to water, you might find some puffins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, puffin! Hey! Whoa! Their beaks look so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out. So colorful in there. Yeah, it's a coral reef. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see all those fish? They're so colorful. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Yeah. Ooh, look at that one right there. It's just yellow. So yellow, it looks like the sun. Yeah, it's so bright. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Flippy, I bet you'd like that one over there because it's orange. One of your favorite colors. Oh yeah, you're right. And there's white stripes on it and black. That one looks really cool. <laughs> yeah! Woo! And that one right there, yeah, it has a blue body and a yellow tail. Oh, cool. Whoa! Ooh, you see any other colorful ones, Mika? Hmm. Oh, I see a black and white one coming this way. Oh yeah, black and white stripes. Yeah, almost like a zebra. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Ah. Ooh, and look at that one right there. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, a blue body <laughs> with some black and a yellow tail. Wow. wow. There are so many colors in here. Yeah, so colorful. <laughs> Look at this! These are some of the teeniest, tiniest frogs I have ever seen. These are poisonous dart frogs and can typically be found in the rainforest. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, it's like a red-orange. Poisonous dart frogs come in so many different sorts of colors and their bright colors tell animals and people to stay away because they're really poisonous, but they're so cute. <laughs> Ooh, I think there's some more over here. Come on. Wow. These have white stripes down their back. They look so cool. They're poisonous because of the poison in the food that they eat. <laughs> you have to stay away. But wow, they're just really adorable and fabulous. <laughs> Mika, look. <laughs> Check it out. More frogs. Whoa! These are magnificent tree frogs. Whoa! It's the color green. Yeah! That's called camouflage. It blends in with its environment. Yeah, do you know what is green in here? Yeah, leaves. Whoa! So then other animals can't see those frogs. So cool! <laughs> Ooh, look down here. These are Mexican salamanders. Yeah, also known as oxalotls. What a silly name. Whoa, hello. Yeah, they're typically darkish, greenish, brownish in the nature. Yeah, so then they blend in to their environment, just like those frogs. Yeah, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, it's an octopus. Can you see it? Yeah. Whoa. Octopuses have eight arms. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> we together have four. One, two, three, four. Whoa. Times that by two, and then you have eight. Yeah, can you imagine having eight arms? Whoa, that'd be so cool. Yeah, and octopuses have little suction cups on their arms so that they can taste wherever they go. Yeah, and it sticks to things. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> and octopuses can actually change color and texture. That's called camouflage. Yeah, and they're also really, really smart. <laughs> yeah, and did you know octopuses, their mouths are actually beaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh, looks really white now. Wow. Yeah, hard to see back there. Yeah, it's oh, changing it's colors. Oh, hello, octopus. Hi. Whoa, take a closer look. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa.
bunch of sharks. Wow. But I actually heard that we can get in. What? Yeah. That's so cool. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. You need to be very careful. Do not step on any of these sharks. Excuse us. Excuse us. Ooh. Ooh, it's a little cold and chilly. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, these are shark jaws. Yeah. And look at all the teeth. There's so many teeth. Whoa, yeah. hello. And they for sharp. Yeah. Whoa. Are they sharp? Whoa, yeah, they are. Look at this really big one. Whoa, Mika, cool. Wow. <laughs> wow. And this shark jaw. Yeah, the teeth are really small. This jaw is actually the same type of sharks in here. Yeah. So cute. Much <laughs> smaller than something like this. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this. Bet you can't guess what shark this comes from, Mika. Uh, it's one tooth. And it comes from a shark that's really big. It's a really great shark. Oh, the great white shark would be? Yeah. Whoa, look how big that tooth Whoa. is. Oh, no! <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> so silly. Wow. Yeah. So, Mika, we can actually touch these sharks. Whoa. Yeah. I wonder what they feel like. I know. I'm so excited. Oh, hello, shark. Hello. Hello. Come here. Are you ready to get pet? Ooh. You think they're a little shy. Oh, here's oh. one. Here one comes. Come on over. Oh, yeah. I did. What did it you feel get? like? It actually felt a little rough. Yeah, the skin of these sharks feel like sandpaper. Oh, it's so rough. Oh, oh, here's one. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, here's one for you, Mika. Here you go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's rough. Not <laughs> smooth at all. No. <laughs> hey, come check out over here. What's over here? Yeah. Whoa. Get out nice and safe. Hey. This. Go right over here. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Whoa. A Ray. bunch of rays. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, look at them. Whoa. Hey, Ray. How are you? Hi. Whoa. <laughs> Shall we get in? Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Whoa. So in here, you want to shuffle your feet, so then you don't step on any of the rays. Yeah, good idea. Ooh. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Look right over there, Mika. Is this food for the rays? It is. What? Special surprise. It's a <laughs> Mika. Yeah. Ooh, and is there another one? Yep, this is oh. for you. Oh, thank you so much. And this is for me. All right. So how we feed them is we just toss it out. Look at this. Ooh, <laughs> some fish in here. Anybody hungry? Looks like some shrimp. Ooh, check it out. Wow. Want some food? Looks pretty yummy if you were a ray, huh? <laughs> Whoa, here they are. Perfect. Yum. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this is your next time snack. Yeah, here you go, rays. Ooh. Actually, we can touch them too. Really? What yeah. do you feel like? Oh, well, you tell me. Yeah. You wanna do? Two fingers along their back. Okay. Nice and soft. Oh, there's one behind us. Oh, hey, Ray. Whoop. Oh, here's one. Oh, hi. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Cool. Oh, it's like you gave me a high five. Cool. Actually, kind of feels like. Let's see here. Oh. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, here you go. <laughs> yep, I felt that one. Yeah, different than the sharks that were really rough. Yeah, these are really smooth and slippery. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so silly. <laughs> wow. Now they really want to eat. Yeah. They kind of look like uh, diamonds. Yeah. yeah. And they flap their wings. <laughs> oh, he's trying to eat my foot. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>
Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, what a great night at the aquarium. Yeah, we saw so many cool animals. Yeah, like those adorable sea otters. <laughs> and those jellyfish. <laughs> and the octopus. Whoa, with eight arms. Yeah. Wow, and those crabs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, so many <laughs> underwater creatures. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Wait a second, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show you. N-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> so cool. See you later. See you soon. Bye-bye. Have a great night, Blippi and Mika. Thank you. See, See ya. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa. And look at where we're at. Yeah, today we're at Aquarium of Boise in Boise, Idaho. And this place is awesome. Yeah, it's an aquarium. Have you ever been to an aquarium before? Yeah, it's so cool because they have so many marine animals here. Yeah, marine animals are animals that live in the water. Well, shall we go explore? Let's go. Whoa. Oh, there's so many different kinds of fish in here. Whoa, they're all back there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa, look up here. Looks like a list of different types of fish. Oh, look at that one. That one's called a yellow tang. Yeah, and it's all yellow. <laughs> I wonder why it's called yellow tang. <laughs> Ooh, and look at this one. It says purple tang. Ooh, looks like it's purple and yellow. Whoa. Ooh. And that one way over there. Whoa, powder blue tang. Wow. Yeah, it's blue and yellow. Okay, let's try and find them. Um, let's find the yellow tang. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty distinct looking, huh? All yellow. Okay, not that one. <gasps> Wait, there's one way over there. Do you see it? It's so far back there. Oh, <laughs> it's hiding. Hello, yellow tang. <laughs> Look up there! Yeah, an orange, white, and black fish. Oh, I know what that is. Look up here. Yeah, that's the fish. It's a clownfish. Look up there. Do you see that blue fish? Yeah, it's just pure blue. It's really bright and vibrant. And look up here. Whoa, it's a blue damselfish. It's so bright and blue and colorful. Cool. See you later, fish. <laughs> Whoa, more fish. <gasps> Whoa, look at this in here. Wait a second. This looks like the same shape as the last clownfish, but this one is just black and white. Yeah, do you see it right there? Yeah, a black and white striped fish. Here comes another one. Wait, yeah, this is actually a type of clownfish. Yeah, but can you think of an animal that lives on land that's black and white stripes? Yeah, a zebra. Wow, cool. These are the zebras of the ocean. <laughs> see you later, clownfish. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, that looked like a puffer fish to me. Whoa. Actually, it's a porcupine puffer. Yeah, looks really smooth right now. But if it gets frightened or scared or angry, what it does is its cheeks puff out and its whole body, yeah, becomes spiky. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Super cool. <laughs> Whoa, and look down here. Whoa, do you see this? Wow, looks like an eel. Yeah, this is actually a yellowhead moray eel. And it's just hanging out in the rocks. Yeah, just chilling. Yeah, that's what eels like to do. Hang out in the rocks and just poke their heads out. <laughs> All right, see you later. Fun hanging out with you. <laughs> oh, what else do they have here? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Looks like an old boat. 
that then water got into and rocks over the years. Whoa, it's a perfect fish habitat. Oh, and look at what I have. <laughs> yeah, some snacks for the fish. Yeah, just like how you and I like snacks. Yeah, fish like snacks too. Oh, and they said I can actually feed these fish. All right, first let's try these peas. There we go. <laughs> All right, pour it in my hand. And then we'll see if the fish like to come and eat some food. Here you go. Whoa, do you see all those fish? Yeah, those are Japanese koi fish. There's so many of them and they're so colorful. All right, we have a little bit more food over here. All right, hello, Japanese koi fish. Yeah, all right, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, they're so cool looking. They're so colorful. Yeah, some are orange and black, some are white and black, and some are white, black, and orange. Oh, see you later. <laughs> All right, what else is around here? Whoa, look at this tank. This tank is massive. Looks like the fish are all on the other side. Oh, but there's a lot of gallons and liters of water in here. Oh, oh, and look at this. Whoa, looks like a scuba diver. Whoa, do you see this helmet? It looks like a port right here. Yeah, scuba divers have this area so then they can see while they're underwater. Oh, and scuba divers wear this outfit so then they can stay warm under the water and so they can breathe underwater. You know how you and I have to hold our breath underwater? Scuba divers can breathe while they're underwater. Cool. Oh, and do you see this big weight? Yeah, us humans, we tend to float. So this weight is holding the scuba diver on the bottom of the sea floor. So then this scuba diver can work. Yeah, looks like the scuba diver works underwater. Wow, whoa, look at all these tanks. Wow, this is so cool. Ooh, and look at this one. It's really big and bright and vibrant. Yeah, do you see that? Yeah, that orange thing? That is actually a sea anemone. Oh, and do you see those rock looking things up there? Yeah, they're also pretty bright. Those are coral. Yeah, sea anemones and coral. Yeah, they're actually animals. They kind of just look like rocks, huh? Those coral do? <laughs> well, hey, do you see how bright they are and just vibrant in color? Yeah, it's actually because there's algae that lives inside the sea anemone. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Oh, oh, look. You see how that fish is just hanging out with that sea anemone and right next to all that coral? Yeah. Coral is actually really, really important because a bunch of fish like these ones actually live in all the coral. Yeah, it's just like how you and I live in a house. Yeah, these fish love to live inside the coral. Oh, and around the coral and use sea anemones as a nice soft bed. <laughs> so cozy. Oh, and look at this one. Oh, it's really bright and green. Whoa, so cool. Hey, remember how we saw that eel hanging out in the rock and the coral? Yeah, they're just hanging out in their homes. <laughs> See you later, enjoy your homes. <laughs> Look over here. Wow, this is a big tank. Whoa, do you see that fish way over there? Whoa, yeah, there's a fish way back there. It's so big. It's a bumblebee grouper. Yeah, and actually they live to be 80 to 100 years old. But this one's only about 10 years old. So it's gonna get way bigger. Whoa, whoa, these are some big fish in here. Whoa, look at these. Hello, hey, and look at the bottom. Whoa, do you see all those? Yeah, they definitely look like sharks, huh? <laughs> Look at them just hanging out out the bottom. Whoa. Whoa. Look at these fish. More big fish. Yeah, these are paku. Yeah, pakus to be exact, because there's many of them. Whoa, and they kind of look like really big piranhas. Yeah, and actually, 
They eat vegetables. They're herbivores. Yeah. You see how big they are? Oh. And actually, let me show you something right up here. It's really cool. Yeah, here's the teeth. Do you see this? Yeah, they kind of look like human teeth that they have, huh? Oh. And I have a big treat for us. Yeah. These pakus, I bet, are very hungry, and we have a nice yummy snack for them. Yeah, these are almonds. Watch out, they might splash. Whoa! Look at them go! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I'm throwing them down so then they hear and see them splash. There we go. Yeah, it's like they're falling off of trees. Whoa, here you go. Whoa, they must be really hungry. Let me do a few at the same time. Whoa, whoa, don't worry everyone. There's more for everyone. Here you go. Whoa, cool. <laughs> whoa, all right, here's some more. <laughs> Wow, aren't they cool? They must be very, very hungry. Whoa, cool. <laughs> wow, wasn't this so much fun learning about marine animals together? Yeah, I had a great time learning with you. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video though. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I, Flippy, good job. All right, see you again. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at Yas Water World in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> yeah, this water park is amazing. There are water rides and big slides to go down. <laughs> but today, you and I have a special mission. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for a pearl. <laughs> well, not just any pearl, a really, really big pearl. It's called the mother pearl. <laughs> hey, will you help me look for it? <laughs> awesome, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no pearls here. <laughs> hey, do you know what a pearl looks like? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a really tiny ball. <laughs> and that reminds me. You know the story of the lost pearl? Oh, yeah. It's a really fun story. <laughs> yeah. It's about a village where people used to dive for pearls. Yeah. They would dive to the ocean and find pearls in little oysters. <laughs> yeah. They would find the pearls and one day they found a really big pearl. Yeah. The mother pearl. And it brought them lots of good luck. But one day a really big storm came. Whoa. <laughs> and they lost the pearl. And we want to find it. <laughs> oh, hey, storm. That storm was so big. It was kind of like a tornado. <laughs> Good thing they have a tornado right here. Let's go ride it. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This place is so cool. <laughs> yeah, look, it's so rocky. And it looks like maybe there was a shipwreck here <laughs> with some treasure. <laughs> oh, and it looks like a water slide back there. Hey, I know. That water slide is called the Wama. Yeah, that's the Arabic word for tornado. Whoa! <laughs> hey, do you remember the story? Yeah, the story of the lost pearl. They lost the mother pearl because a big storm, a big tornado, blew it away. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if we ride this ride, we can find the mother pearl. <laughs> okay, let's take a closer look. Check it out! This slide is huge! <laughs> oh, do you see? It's so big! <laughs> Ooh, maybe if we ride this ride, the mother pearl will be down there. <laughs> Ooh, did you notice? This slide is so colorful! <laughs> yeah! It's the colors blue and red! Woo! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon! I'm gonna go ride it! <laughs> Whoa! We made it to the top of Tulama! I can't wait to ride! Oh, look. Hello. Hi. I'm Blippi. What's your name? My name is Irina. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you think I could go on the ride? Yes. 
They oh. exactly need one person to ride. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's join them. Okay, let's go. <laughs> big tank of water <laughs> and look there's a shipwreck and some crates <laughs> let's go take a closer look come on <laughs> this place is awesome yeah this tank of water is so big there's all kinds of things in the water look hmm. it looks like hmm, there's a bowl and <laughs> some really big bricks <laughs> There's coral. Ooh, <laughs> coral, so beautiful. <laughs> hey, do you see that right there? Whoa, do you know what that is? That's an oyster. Yeah, an oyster is a sea creature. Whoa, and an oyster makes pearls. Beautiful pearls, yeah. Sometimes a little thing that bothers an oyster like sand gets in its mouth. <laughs> but after a long time, the oyster turns that little piece of sand, or whatever it is, <laughs> into a beautiful pearl. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? I bet this is where people dive for pearls. Oh, dive for oysters. <laughs> yeah, they find the oysters with the pearls inside. Whoa, hello. <laughs> oh, look, it's a person. <laughs> Whoa, and look, he's diving. Yeah. Oh, I think he wants me to come with him. <laughs> Okay, let's go! <laughs> oh, hi. hi! I'm Flippy, what's your name? My name's Silas. Oh, it's nice to meet you. And are you the diving instructor? Yes, please. <laughs> the diving. Where are you going to be diving? Find oysters. Oysters? <laughs> yeah! Oh. oh, is it okay if I come in the pool? Yes, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, check it out, it's a mask. Yes. Oh. So you have to check it, put, your, put it on, then check. <laughs> yeah. We want to put on the mask first before we start diving. Hmm. So, here we go. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> they don't fit over my glasses, I think so. You need to take off your glasses. <laughs> yeah, you got to take those off first. Whoa! <laughs> Look! All right, now oh. check it. Just put your head in water and check oh. if it's safe for you. Okay, yeah. We don't want to get any water in our mask. So, here we go. Yeah! The water getting inside. Yeah. All right, so now, before you dive in, you need to equalize. Ooh. So you need to pop your ears to be more safe. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's called equalizing your ears. <laughs> when you dive in the water, if it's really deep, it feels kind of uncomfortable on your ears. So, pop your ears. <laughs> you can pop your ears out, yeah. Huh. Feels nice and relaxing. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Here we go! <laughs> Time to dive for some oysters! Yes, are you ready to dive for the oysters? Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Ooh, let's see how many we can find! Alright! Here we go! <laughs> let's go! You see what that is? 
Yeah, it's an oyster. And looks like we have a couple of them. <laughs> One oyster, two, three oysters, four oysters, and whoa, <laughs> check it out. Five oysters. <laughs> whoa, that's a lot. Yeah, and look at them. Yeah, they're kind of the color brown, light brown. Ooh, ooh, and they're really smooth. Whoa. <laughs> best part about an oyster is there are pearls inside. Yeah, they're nice and safe inside the oyster. <laughs> well, we don't want to open up these oysters to get the pearl because I'm not looking for regular pearls. I'm looking for the mother pearl. <laughs> we should keep looking around. Maybe we'll find it. <laughs> keep your eyes open. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here at the bandit's hideout. Whoa, <laughs> this is where the bandits live. Ooh. Do you remember the story of the lost pearl? Yeah, there was a big tornado! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and then they lost the mother pearl. You know what happened next? Yeah, bandits came and took the mother pearl. <laughs> that was not very nice. <laughs> hey, do you know what a bandit is? Yeah, a bandit is someone who takes things that don't belong to them. Whoa, and look! Your eyes open. You need to find the mother pearl. Hmm. Oh, hello. <laughs> hi. It's Donna. Oh, hi, Donna. I'm Blippi. <laughs> oh, do you remember the story of the lost pearl? Yeah. The pearl was lost because of a tornado. It was taken by bandits, <gasps> but it was found. Yeah. Found by Donna. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. Well, we've also been looking for the mother pearl today. You think you can help us find it? You can? <laughs> Great! Well, do you know where it is? Oh, you do? Where is it? Oh, whoa, check it out! It's up there! It's been here this whole time! <laughs> oh, well, thank you for helping us find it, Donna. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, that was amazing! I had so much fun today at Yas Waterworld in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, we did some pretty cool things. We rode the tornado, we met a bandit, we went diving for pearls, and Donna helped us find the mother pearl. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -I, Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we get to go on this really big boat. Whoa, it's enormous. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, let's go. We made it onto the boat! <laughs> yeah! And this boat is awesome! Because it's not a regular boat, this is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran! <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats! <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here! Yeah! This is a really giant net! Woo! <laughs> But this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so silly, this brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean, yeah. Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is.
Oh, do you see it? Look at this. The ceiling is my favorite color orange. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vents. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello. And then you take a clip. And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hats. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around, we make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. Okay, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. <laughs> yeah, and that makes the boat go forward. And that makes it go backwards. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat, and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> but look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa. <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west, and which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello. Welcome aboard, everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey, I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. Yeah, and she's a real-life marine biologist. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa! That sounds really, really important. <laughs> hey, well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. <sighs> What's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa. Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to be very gentle, though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa. Look at all his legs. Yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa. Hey, let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa. That's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look. It looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving. And our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them, but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa. So if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm going to put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. And Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Look. This is a starfish. It is. Whoa. Look at how cool he is. His back 
kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, woohoo, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one. Whoa, it's really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, what are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve, <laughs> just like the clam. Whoa, is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have Whoa. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve, mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with <laughs> the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm gonna let them go back into the water. Whoa. Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own home. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. He's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself, but he sure is pretty cute. Uh, whoa, and it looks like he has a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa. whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Whoa. You mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay. Here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa. Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa. Operculum. Hmm. That's a really big word. but. I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm going to put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. Hmm. It is dirty. Oh. I just found this one. This one is fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay, oh. and they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn and it looks like a little piece of grass too whoa that's so awesome Mackenzie that you found this one in the ocean whoa and this one looks like someone cleaned it out right yeah exactly so we do take our sponges we do harvest them here in Florida and we get them clean and you are able to use them in the shower whoa. or to do your dishes as well <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car <laughs> Wow, sponges are so cool. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins. But we're going to make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat. Because we always want to be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian! Hey, Blippi! Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah! I am so excited to see some real dolphins! <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. All right, go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> so Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine, and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins. <laughs> yeah! the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? Yeah! Hello! We see the dolphins! Look! It looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa! This is so cool! Whoa! Look! They're so close! Hello! They're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah! This is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here, there are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah, and they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup, but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah, and they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs, ribbit, woo. <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, did you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah, he's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Woo. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, 
these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa. And come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah. See this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say. Anhinga. Well, look, a pelican. Hello, Mr. Pelican. <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So when they go underwater, water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Anhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah! We saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah! And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa! It was so much fun! <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing! <laughs> they were so cool! Whoa! Look at this! It's time for a bubbles lab! And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle! Whoa! <laughs> Look at it! So many shells, little animals! When you shake it up... Whoa! <laughs> it looks like the ocean! <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own! Start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we wanna make it look like the actual ocean, so we're gonna put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, <laughs> that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful. This is a little tricky. Woo, we did it! <laughs> Look, all the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have, whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs in, hmm, yeah. Let's put in a, a sea turtle. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so let's grab our animals and we want to get some shells too. So. Just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa, look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, Jellyfish! <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye! <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think it needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> 
that's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles as oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa! We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We want to keep it nice and clean. So, we're going to take some of this plumber's tape. Gonna just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then you can ask a grown up to use scissors, make a little cut, and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color. Orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape and yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. <laughs> then rest the tape, and you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up! Whoa! Look at it! It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean! <laughs> and the shells, they stay at the bottom, just like in real life! <laughs> this was so much fun! We made an ocean in the bottle, we saw dolphins in real life, we visited Bird Island, and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. P-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo! It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at the Orlando Science Center in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> and I am so excited because you and I get to learn all about science. <laughs> and we're going to have lots of fun playing. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, check it out. We're here at Drip Drop Splash, and there's so many fun things to play with in the water. <laughs> Whoa, look. It's a fish, and it's the color orange. Hello, fish. Hello, Blippi. Oh, how are you today? I'm doing really good. <laughs> Whoa. Well, let's play with some water. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. You see this fountain? Whoa, it's so smooth. <laughs> look. Whoa. Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Whoa. This fountain makes really smooth water come out of it. Yeah, that's called laminar flow. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, laminar flow is whenever the water flows really smoothly. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, look at this! <laughs> Whoa! 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 <laughs> Choo -choo! <laughs> yeah, look at this sprinkler head. It's so bubbly and it's so so wet <laughs> and sprinkly. Yeah, this is called turbulent flow. <laughs> Look at it go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. We have a blue boat and a pink boat. And they're riding the waves. Whoa. So many fun things to play here. <laughs> hey, look at this. Oh, <laughs> see this? There are all these tubes. Huh. Wonder what they're used for. Whoa, look. 
<laughs> Whoa! Look at it! <laughs> look at it go! Yeah! And it looks like you can connect all the tubes. Whoa! <laughs> to splash in different ways. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what we can build. Whoa! Look! It has an arm. <laughs> Oh, it looks like a crane. <laughs> but we're not building anything with this crane. Nope, we're splashing. <laughs> Woo! Oh, let's build the biggest fountain ever. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, check it out. <laughs> And that is one big fountain. <laughs> and it looks like all the boats, they can swim under it. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> it's raining! <laughs> Woo. Oh, and look at this. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. There are so many colorful boats here. We have an orange boat, a blue boat, a pink boat, <laughs> A yellow boat and whoa! <laughs> a green boat! It's a tower of boats! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! And look at this! <laughs> whoa! Look! It's a stream where the boats can go down! Yeah! If you start at the top, you can put some balls. Whoa! Look at them go! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> or maybe a fish! Woo! <laughs> bye bye, fish! Whoa! <laughs> Look at him go! Woo! Or a boat! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! And look at this! There are all these different plates! Yeah! You can take a blue plate and you can put it in different parts to stop up the water so we can make the biggest splash ever! <laughs> We're gonna make the boat go really fast down the ramp! Okay, but first we need to block off all the components using plates. Okay, it's filling up. <laughs> now we can start putting the boats in. Okay, <laughs> whoa, look, it's filling up. Couple more. Okay, I think we're ready <laughs> to release the boats. Hello! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! They went so fast! <laughs> oh. Wow! I think it's about time for the grand finale. We've had a lot of fun playing with all these boats, but there's one more surprise. <laughs> Look at it go! Whoa! Whoa, look at it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look! I'm getting all the balls in my nets! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was one grand finale! Whoa! It looks like there are some animals for us to see. <laughs> oh, hi, Tori. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Flippy. Whoa, and check it out. It's a tortoise and a bunny. <laughs> Whoa, and Tori, who's this? This is Rocky, the gopher tortoise. Ooh. Hello, Rocky. <laughs> is it okay if I touch her? Absolutely, you can touch her right on the shell there. Mm. And she can actually feel you touching her, like we can feel things that touch our fingernail. It's kind of like that. Wow, her shell is very hard and so smooth. <laughs> oh, and Rocky's a tortoise, right? That's correct. Oh. So if you look at the claws there, that's how you can tell. Turtles have webbed feet. Tortoises have claws for digging and climbing. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, the turtles, they love the water. But tortoises, they walk on the land. <laughs> well, Rocky, it was really nice to meet you. Oh, and how old is Rocky? Rocky's almost 30 years old. 30 years old? <laughs> She's so small, but so old. <laughs> uh, 
Well, I'll see you soon, Rocky. Oh, and Hannah, who's this? This is Benji the bunny. Oh, hello, Benji. <laughs> is it okay if I give Benji a pet? Absolutely. Ooh. Oh, Benji is so soft. Ooh, and so fuzzy. <laughs> and Benji is the color white. And Benji's eyes, they're the color red. Oh, Hannah, why are Benji's eyes red? So his eyes are red because he's an albino bunny. Whoa, an albino bunny? What does albino mean? So that just means he doesn't have the color pigmentation in his eyes like we do. So instead, we're seeing his blood vessels. Aw, hey, wait a minute. We have a bunny and a tortoise. What if we see if they'll race? Absolutely. Let's try. <laughs> OK. On the count of three, we're going to see if the tortoise or the hare will win the race. On your marks, get set. Go! <laughs> go, Rocky, go! Go, Benji! Who is gonna win? Oh! <laughs> Whoa! It looks like Benji won! <laughs> Whoa! Look at these guys! <laughs> I'm here with my good friend, Tori! She's an animal expert, and she knows all about these animals! <laughs> Hi, Tori! Hi, Flippy! <laughs> Whoa! Who are these? This is Raven, and this is her baby Puff. Oh, they are both monkey-tailed skinks. Monkey-tailed skinks? Whoa, <laughs> I've never heard of those before. Well, hi, Raven. Hi, Puff. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Would you like to touch Raven on the back? Oh, Check yeah. out those smooth scales. Whoa. Aww. Wow, Raven is so smooth. And look, she looks like a greenish-yellow color. Why are they colored like that? It helps them blend in. Ooh. They like to be very tall up in the trees. They're excellent <laughs> climbers with that monkey tail, these long fingers with the claws. When they're eating leaves and flowers, they don't want any birds to see them. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, and did you see this? It's a monkey tail. Oh, that's probably why they're called monkey tail skinks. <laughs> hey, will you act like a monkey with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job being a monkey. <laughs> but these aren't monkeys. They're only called monkey-tailed skinks. Yeah, they look like excellent climbers. Have their big long tail, and it looks like they have really long fingers. Woo! <laughs> Absolutely, that helps them hold on when they're climbing around. They also have very sharp claws. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. You are so cute looking. Oh, and look, there's a hole in the side of her head. What's that for? That's how she hears. Oh, no way. Do you see that? Yeah, that little hole in the side of Raven's head is her ear. <laughs> well, it was so cool to learn all about the monkey-tailed skinks. <laughs> Thanks, Dory. No problem, Blippi. I'll see you soon. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Do you see all these tubes? <laughs> They're so cool because they use air power. <laughs> yeah, air is really important. It has the oxygen that we breathe. <sighs> and it can pull things like a vacuum. <laughs> or push things like a hair dryer. <laughs> That's just awesome. Well, I had such a fun time with you today here at the Orlando Science Center. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs> me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Whoa, today I'm at Santa Barbara Marina in Santa Barbara, California, and this marina has a lot of boats. Yeah, do you like boats? Yeah, I do too. They're so cool how they float on the water and they go from one place to the next and you can see things along the way. Cool, shall we find a boat that we can explore? Yeah, let's go.
Whoa, cool. Look at this boat. Whoa, it's the color yellow. Whoa, can you think of anything that's the color yellow? Oh yeah, like the sun or a sunflower. Cool. Hey, what about any fruit that's the color yellow? Yeah, a banana. Good job. <laughs> oh, hey, here's some black letters. This must be the name of this boat. Lil Toot. Lil Toot? Whoa, that's a fun name. Toot Toot. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Captain Fred. Oh, Captain Fred, I'm Blippi. Wait, Captain, are you the captain of this boat? I am the captain. Whoa, that is really cool. What does this boat do? We take people back and forth across the harbor all day long. Wow, so this boat takes people back and forth, back and forth. So it's like a passenger boat, just like how there's passenger buses. But this is a boat, cool. Do you mind if we hop on board? Welcome aboard, just watch your head. All right, come on. <laughs> wow, check out this boat. Wow, it's so big and roomy in here. Yeah, I bet they can fit a lot of passengers on this boat. Whoa, whoa, look at these. Whoa, <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, a little life jacket or a life preserver. Whoa, definitely looks a little small for me. Oh, I can't even get it on, it's so small. Oh, these must be for children, cool. <laughs> All right, we'll put those back. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Whoa, I wonder what's in here. Whoa, yeah! A lot of life jackets. Whoa, and these are a lot bigger. I bet this would definitely fit me. All right, let's try it on. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yeah, life jackets help you float when you're going in the water. Yeah, you might have worn one when you go swimming. All right, we'll put that right there. Oh, hey, wait a second. It even says Lil Toot. <laughs> cool. All right, there's that. Okay, let's see what else this boat has for us. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Doesn't this look like the boat's floor? Yeah, well actually it's something really cool. Let me show you. All right, I have to move these first. Whoa. And this one. All right, now for the special thing. All right. <laughs> Do you know what it's gonna be? All right, lift up this hatch. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is the engine of the boat. Whoa, this looks like an inline four cylinder, 56 horsepower diesel. No way, whoa, so cool. Ooh, and right here, yeah, that's the oil filter. Yep, definitely the oil filter, cool. <laughs> All right, we should probably close this so then we can go for a ride. Whoa, see you later, diesel engine. Whoa, all right. <laughs> Whoa, what's this called in here? It's the pilot house, it's where you steer the boat. Oh, the pilot house? Whoa, check it out. Speaking of steering the boat, whoa, it looks like the steering wheel. All right, turn it left, whoa, turn it right. Whoa, cool. What's the left and the right called on a boat? Left side's the port side. Okay. And the starboard side is the right side. Wow, cool. And sometimes I see colors at night on boats on the left and the right the, the side. The red side is the port side. Okay. And the green side is the starboard side. Whoa, cool. Speaking of red, whoa, what do these knobs do? The red one's the throttle, makes the boat go faster or slower. Okay. The black one makes the boat go forward and backwards. Okay, so this one is the throttle. You push it forward, it goes super fast. But then, if you pull it back, it goes a lot slower. 
Ooh, in this one, if you push it forward, you go forward. And if you push it back and pull it back, you go in reverse. Whoa, cool. Hey, is this a radio? Whoa, hey. Hello, hello, Marina. This is Deckhand Blippy, and I'm here to help Captain Fred. We're gonna take a ride, and it's gonna be fun. <laughs> cool. All right, put that back. Woo! And this, yeah. Can I pull it? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, yeah! It's the horn, or the tutor on this boat. <laughs> cool. What else do you have here? What's this? This tells you how deep the water is, and this is the actual bottom of the water. Oh. And, if, and we're out in the water, you'll actually see fish go by here. Okay, so if there's a fish underneath us between the bottom of the ocean and the boat, then you'll see a dot. Yeah, we'll be able to see fish. Cool. All right, this is so much fun. I'm so excited to go for a ride. Is there any safety things we need to know about? Absolutely. Before we leave, we have to talk about safety. Okay, I'm ready. We are Coast Guard certified to carry 19 passengers. Wow, that's a lot. Children's life preservers are underneath the seats in separate containers. Oh, yeah. And the adult seat. life preservers are in the large box in the center. Mm -hmm. Children's life preservers are for people that are under 90 pounds. Okay. And there's also life floats on top of the boat. Oh, cool. Are we ready to take it for a spin? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> Whoa. All right, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, this boat is just floating on the water. And you can tell that we're still in the marina. Yeah, because there's a lot of boats. Whoa, boats? Speaking of boats, that one is so massive. Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey. Whoa, check it out. Well, United States of America. Yeah. Boats love to fly their flags of the country that they're from. And this boat, yeah, it resides in the USA. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, do you see all those sailboats? Yeah, you can tell they're sailboats because the big mast in the center goes way high and that's what holds the sails. Whoa, cool! <laughs> Sailboats are really cool because they're powered by the wind. They don't even need an engine or a motor or nothing. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day it is out here. It's nice and sunny. Good thing we have the top. I might get sunburned. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see those birds? Wow, there's so many of them. Yeah, those are actually California pelicans. Whoa, they're so big. Whoa, hello, hey. Wow, their beaks are so massive. All right, see you later, pelicans. Bye-bye. Whoa, what a fun day this has been. Hasn't it been fun? Yeah, I love boats. <laughs> Hey, and if you're wondering why I'm not wearing a life jacket, it's because this is a Coast Guard certified boat. Yeah, and I'm older than the age requirement. <laughs> Wow, they look so relaxed. Just hanging out on that green buoy? That's a lot of sleeping. Oh! Oh, this is so much fun. Thanks for taking us for a spin. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, 
Do you mind if I steer the boat for a little? Do it. <laughs> wow. Whoa. This is really cool. Whoa. <laughs> oh, do you mind? Go for it. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you have a fun time on the boat with me today? Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye! It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at the Kogan Family Aquatic Complex in San Diego, California. And guess what we get to do today? Scuba diving! <laughs> I just love the water! <laughs> oh, and don't forget, before getting into the water, always ask a grown-up. Hi, Blippi. Jason is a scuba instructor. Whoa. <laughs> and it looks like there's a lot of scuba equipment here. <laughs> so, Jason, what's the first thing we need to know before we go diving? Well, Blippi, the first thing we need to do is get our wetsuits on. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're wearing wetsuits. Whoa. Jason, why is it important to have a wetsuit? Well, one, we want to stay warm when we're in the water. And also, we want to protect ourselves from any stings or any animal encounters we may come across. Whoa! <laughs> this is a pretty cool wetsuit, and it has two of my two favorite colors. Yeah! Orange and blue! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, and check it out! Scuba gear! <laughs> What's all this? This is our main scuba kit. This is what we're going to use to breathe underwater. Whoa! Check it yeah. out! Look! There's a big tank on the back! Does yeah. this hold the air? This holds all the air that you're going to need underwater. Ooh. <laughs> Look, yeah. and it's the color blue. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, and what are these? These are called regulators. We always yeah. have a set of two for extra safety for you or a buddy. Oh, <laughs> one for me and one for my buddy. <laughs> my blippy buddy. Yeah. yeah. And do you see? Looks like there's a mouthpiece, right? There is. That's what we breathe the air from the scuba tank with. <laughs> Whoa! I can't wait to breathe underwater and go scuba diving. Whoa. <laughs> and what's this? This big jacket piece is what we call a BCD, a buoyancy compensator device. Whoa! A B C D. Buoyancy compensator device? <laughs> Whoa. So this helps us with our positioning in the water. So we can sink, we can float, or we can maintain buoyancy right in the middle. No way! This vest helps us sink and it helps us float! <laughs> it takes Whoa. air from the scuba tank and inflates and deflates in the vest. Oh. If you want to try it, Blippi, hit that gray button right there. Okay, <laughs> let's try! Check it out! It's inflating and floating! And then... <laughs> oh look! It's deflating. I bet that would help us sink. <laughs> yes, it would. Oh. Well, what else are we going to need? The other thing we're going to need is our mask. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> look, I have an orange one. Hello. <laughs> this helps us see things underwater, like animals and other marine life. And it also keeps all the water out of our eyes. Oh, that would be so cool to see animals underwater while you're in the water. Ooh. <laughs> and it has a nose. <laughs> And That's the, pretty cool. <laughs> the last piece of gear that we have are fins. Ooh, check it out. These fins? help us swim in the water like a fish. <laughs> One fin, two fin. Oh, and you put these on your feet? That we do, yes. Oh yeah, look. You put your foot right in there, and then you can swim like a fish, or like a shark, or like 
a mermaid. Whoa! <laughs> that sounds fun. That, it, it's very fun. Well, I think it's time we get all suited up and get in the water. Let's do it. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We're wearing scuba diving gear. Whoa! <laughs> I am so excited and ready to start swimming with the scuba gear. <laughs> but Jason, what happens if water gets in my mask? Oh, it's okay. We can get the water out of the mask really easily. Ooh. All we need to do is we put some pressure on the top of our mask. We're gonna look up real high and we're gonna blow out of our nose. And that'll drain the water out the bottom. Oh, that's really handy. Uh, but what happens if water gets inside our regulator? If the regulator comes out of your mouth, we can put it back in and clear the water in it by two ways. One, we can do a big exhale like a snorkel. Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> I can do that. The other option is we can hit this button here. It's called the purge button. Whoa. And it blows air and clears that water out. <laughs> Check it out. It's called the purge button. It purges all the water out of the regulator. Whoa! <laughs> That's fun. Can we try them? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, I'll see you underwater. Job. Whoa, this is so much fun. Oh, I feel like I could swim just about anywhere. <laughs> are there other places you can scuba dive? Absolutely. Other than a pool, all of the oceans are available for scuba diving. Oh, that sounds so amazing. Can you imagine seeing an animal in the water while you're in the water with it? <laughs> have you seen any of your favorite animals? I have. I saw a whale one time. <laughs> a whale, a whale. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> I love whales. <laughs> so in the ocean, we can see so many interesting creatures. We can see colorful fish. We can see sea lions and seals, really giant sea kelp and seaweed, and also a lot of different types of lobsters and crabs. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I think I'd like to do a little more swimming. You think we could try some? Next level adventures? I think you're ready for some aqua adventures. Wanna give it a shot? Okay, aqua <laughs> adventure time! <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm so excited to go on my very own aqua adventure. <laughs> so Jason, what are we gonna do first? The first aqua adventure we're gonna do is an underwater obstacle course. Ooh, an obstacle course underwater? <laughs> that sounds great. So on the bottom of the pool, there's a series of hoops, different sizes and shapes and colors, and you're gonna swim through them. And to help you practice your turning, there's going to be a rope in the middle of it that you can practice turning around. Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I can't wait to swim through all the colorful hoops and practice my turning. <laughs> and it's a great practice for buoyancy, right? Oh. We don't want to float too much or sink too much. So we want to be right in the middle so you can go right through those hoops. <laughs> awesome! This sounds so fun. I think I'm ready to jump in. Are you Let's, ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. See you soon. <laughs> Great job, Whoa. Flippy. Wow, did you see? I went through all the colorful hoops and did the obstacle course. <laughs> so Jason, what are we gonna do next? So the next aqua adventure we're doing is an underwater scavenger hunt. Who oh, no way, an underwater scavenger hunt? <laughs> I love scavenger hunts, but I've never done one underwater. Whoa. <laughs> so I placed a lot of colorful items on the other side of the pool. 
You're gonna go around and collect them and put them in the nearby black basket. Whoa, okay. Well, keep your eye out. We're gonna find all the colorful objects and then we're gonna put them in the black crate at the bottom of the pool. Whoa. And there's one big and, and obstacle. It's the very heavy object that I'm gonna need your help with. Whoa, that sounds super heavy. Hope we can lift it. We're gonna use a lift bag which means we're gonna use air from our scuba tank to put into the bag, and it's gonna help lift the heavy object. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds amazing! <laughs> I guess we'll have to start right away. I'll see you down there. <laughs> see you soon. the scavenger hunt and lifted the kettlebell. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. That was so fun. <laughs> you're welcome, Blippi. You did so great today. I think you're ready. Let's hit the ocean and I'll let you explore. <laughs> no way! We get to explore the ocean? <laughs> well, I am ready. <laughs> Let's go! Let's do it. had so much fun learning how to scuba dive with you. And I sure love swimming in the pool. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> OK. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Beep!